up next, which can be toggled on and off by clicking on this button up in the toolbar, is basically a live playlist that you can add or remove songs to and adjust their playback order on the fly. The keyboard shortcut for Up Next is Option Command U. So currently in Up Next, I have the entire Codes and Keys album. The first song, Home is a Fire, is currently playing and the rest of the songs are listed in Up Next. As I hover over the songs in the list, I'm able to click the Delete button to remove them from Up Next, or click the ellipsis for more options. Of course, I can also right click. Click and drag to adjust the order of the Up Next list. We can add another entire album to Up Next by clicking the ellipsis on the album and choosing Play Later. That adds all the songs in that album to the end of the Up Next list. If I choose the Play Next option, the album or song that I've selected will play directly after the currently playing song. Click the Clear button to remove all the songs from Up Next. When your Up Next list is empty, when the currently playing song ends, nothing else is going to play after it. We can also click and drag one or multiple albums into the Up Next list. Now let's jump into Songs view, and I'm going to double click to start playing a song. When I open up Next, notice that it's automatically filled the list with the same order that we see here in the Songs list. Click the Shuffle button, and the Up Next order will change to reflect that. Even with Shuffle on, we're able to click and drag on one or multiple songs to add them to Up Next at the top or in between any of these songs. When I do that, the list is divided into my manually edited Up Next list at the top and a back to list with the shuffled songs below. We're still able to move songs up or down in the entire list, as well as add any song that we like. We can add songs to Up Next from any playlist or library view, and the Up Next list doesn't need to be open. When I drag a song to the Up Next button, it's going to be added to the end of the manually edited section of the current Up Next list. To only deal with the custom list, click the Clear button next to the Back To list here. We can also add entire playlists to Up Next with a right click or by dragging them to the Up Next button. So when you're working with Up Next, click and drag a song, album, or playlist up to the Up Next button to play it after the current songs in Up Next. If you want something to play directly after the current song is over, choose Play Next by right-clicking or clicking on the ellipsis button. To play a new song immediately, double-click on it. Then you'll need to decide if you want to clear your Up Next list, or play this song and then continue with the Up Next list after it's over. Click the History View button to see songs that have been recently played, with the most recent song at the top. If there's a song here in the history list that I want to hear again, I can just drag it up to the Up Next button to get it back into the Up Next list. Click on Up Next here to get out of the history list. Up Next can be a great way to listen when you're browsing your song library. It makes it super quick and easy to just add songs, full albums, or playlists that you want to hear and then have total control of the playback order. 